First Democratic Congressman Eric Swalwell joins us once again. He's demanding the unredacted Mueller report. Of course, he sits on the House Judiciary and Intelligence Committees. This is Jim Comey, the former FBI director, talking uh, this afternoon on CNN about the release of the report and the timing of the whole thing. Watch this. Bill Barr, our attorney general, it deserves the benefit of the doubt. Give him a chance to show us what he feels like he can't show us. I have to imagine that former Director Mueller wrote the report with an eye towards it being public someday. So I can't imagine a lot needs to be cut out of it. But let's wait and see. The attorney general deserves that chance. Do you agree with that? Well, we want to make sure we see the full report as soon as possible. We're going to authorize subpoenas, but not issue the subpoena. But Congress voted uh, just a month ago, 420 to zero in a bipartisan fashion uh, for us to see the full report. Also, the public paid for this investigation. They should see the full yeah. report. And the person who believes that he is fully exonerated should fully welcome us seeing the report. I, th I think, you know, the president has said he wants to see the full report. I think pretty much everybody has said. But I think that the full report definition is different for different people. Um, based on the grand jury testimony and you know some of the uh, some of the parts of the report that might reflect on people who you know do not have any there's no reason for them to be sort of put out there publicly by this report so do you agree with those exemptions uh, yes, if there's no reason for the public to know about someone's cooperation, I agree. But what I don't agree is that the grand jury uh, information would should shield uh, important, relevant witnesses uh, from having their information out there. And the who are they? This, what, tell me what you know. What would you be disappointed not to get? Who do you, who do you want to read more about in terms of the background documents that I know you you want? Every person who met uh, with the Russians at the Trump Tower meeting, every person involved in the Trump Tower Moscow negotiations, any person who knew about uh, the WikiLeaks effort to uh, hack and release the Hillary Clinton emails, and any person who knew about uh, the actions the administration so even, has taken to benefit okay. uh, the e Russians. That, that's what I thought. So, I mean, even though um, it appears that there was no collusion, according to the summary of the principal conclusions that we got from from Mr. Barr, you you still think that those are that's valid ground because in the letter yeah. he said you know it's obvious that there was outreach but there was no conspiracy and there was no coordination but that's not enough for you. No, because that relates to a criminal matter, not national security counterintelligence matters. We have a responsibility. If we're going to protect the ballot box in 2020 from another attack, the public should know and the, the nation's leaders should know who worked with the Russians, what the government response they, was, uh, the and whether it was The report says adequate. that they didn't work with the Russians. That's the not, point it, that I'm making. The, well, no, the report, the, the Barr opinion letter said that it didn't reach the standard of proof beyond a reasonable doubt. Without seeing the full report, I don't know if that's the case or not. But I, I want relevant information out there for the public. I believe that if there is confidential, personal identifying information about people who had nothing to do with this, we should protect their privacy. We can do that. But first, Congress should see the full report and then make that decision. So, but, but then, you know, in the same breath, I know you spoke with Neil Cavuto, and you said you don't have to have the Mueller report to see all the president did do. So do you want the report and do you need oh, the yes. report? Or is the report going to come oh, out yeah. and if it doesn't have the things that you're hoping for, you're going to say, oh, that doesn't matter anyway, because I already know that, that there was you know, a lot of egregious behavior here. Well, there is what we've already seen in public, and we can't, you know, wash that away because the president wasn't criminally indicted. But I imagine that there will be additional information that will guide us as we seek to protect the ballot box. And, and so I, I will accept every word, every period, every comma, if I'm able to see it. But I'm not going to accept that I can't see it uh, and that the president is And are you uh, okay with him taking the clear. time that he needs? He said, you know, for like 15 days from now or less. So why, I don't know why there's this tomorrow date. It sounds like you're not going to issue subpoenas tomorrow, correct? We're going to authorize subpoenas tomorrow. We're going to continue to work with them, but the public should see a report that it paid for, and we should know as our nation's leaders what we can do right. to protect our democracy. Uh, let, let me ask you a quick 2020 question before I let you go, because mm -hmm. there was a report that you were quoted as having said at an event in San Francisco, don't tell anybody, but I'm announcing <laughs> in two weeks. Um, so are you announcing for the presidency yeah. in two weeks? To run? Uh, I did not say that, but I, I will tell you, I've made a decision. I will announce it uh, soon. And the reason I care so much about what the Russians did is because
because they didn't do it just to benefit themselves from a transactional relationship with the president. They did it to tear down the idea of America, that no matter who you are, where you're from, what you worship, who you love, you can be anything. And if that could be true in America, it could be true in well, Russia. They don't want it in you know, Russia. There's, there's a, I want to protect it still uh, here in America. I, I, listen, I, I think you're going to do That's well on that because it. I think everybody's on the same page. Nobody wants the yeah. Russians to be able to influence our election or, you know, to influence anything. And, you know, one of yeah. the people who worked at the CIA for 30 years said that the dossier looked like a classic Kremlin disinformation campaign. So I hope you're going to pursue yeah. that side well, of it when you I get all the documents as well. Free correct? markets, free markets, free ideas, and a freedom to dream. The Russians don't want us to have that. I want to protect that. I do benefited you, from okay. that. Okay. So do you want to know if the dossier was a classic Kremlin disinformation of campaign? Of course. So you'll Absolutely. be digging into that when you get these documents as well, because a lot may do. come out when yeah. all of this comes out that will be of interest to, I think, a, a lot of people on all sides. Absolutely, so. Martha. All right, Congressman, thank you very much. My Good pleasure. to see you tonight. Thank you. You too.